Mike, good. Uh, we start backwards on that last play, and uh, what uh, what you were hoping to get, what happened, and what you saw with the or in contact there on up. Well, obviously, it wasn't no contact. The referee said it wasn't a foul. All you can do at that particular time is get the ball on the floor and try to get a shot, or hopefully there's a breakdown defensively, and you can pass it and get a shot. It's not a whole lot of time. Okay. Yeah, Coach, the inbounds play, um, it was a little bit of risky, but it looked like you know, Trace did have the, kind of the, the path there, but what were your thoughts about I don't think anything is risky. Uh, that's not the word to use. He was open. Miller made a bad pass. Normally we've completed that pass, and he's – done some good things on that play. Um, it was a big play. Jack. Mike, I guess there's that little stretch that they get away from you in the first half. I don't know if that you're sorry. And, and I think Xavier in particular is crucial to kind of pulling you back. What was he doing in both halves that was working so well? And what was that kind of sparking, do you think, in other guys? Well, again, our pick and roll offense tonight probably was the best it's been all season we were able to spread the floor and get some good looks. We didn't make our threes, but well, we got a bunch of good look, looks at it. I thought Parker's three that could have put us up was, I mean, couldn't have been no more wide open. Uh, but he just didn't make it. The other night he made a big one. So, I mean, it's kind of been that way all season in terms of us shooting the ball. Um, but I'm, I'm pleased, guys, with the way we competed. I mean, we, we gave ourselves an opportunity to, to win a game in a hostile situation. I mean, this was a tough building to, to win in. And uh, I thought we were very, very competitive. My coach, that was the lowest field goal percentage Purdue's had all season. How happy were you with the defense and how much of the problems of 14 offensive rebounds? I mean, guys, we've been good defensively all year. I mean, that's basically what has set the table in terms of the kind of season that we've had. We've had our ups and downs offensively, but defensively, has put us in position to compete and be in games every night. Um, but to come out on the road and, and lose a game like this is tough. You know, we, I thought they got all the 50-50 balls, and that was a big discussion before the game. You know, you're on the road, you got to win the 50-50 game, and they out toughed us in that area tonight. Kind of piggybacking off the offensive rebounds, second chance points, Purdue beats you guys 15-2 in that area. Could you have seen something more from your guys, execution, effort-wise at all? I think we did just fine executing tonight. There was a stretch where Xavier had to come out. Was it a hamstring issue or something? I thought he had pulled it. I mean, he started reaching for it. When I see that, that's kind of what I think is a hamstring pull. And so I pulled it. He hadn't been out anyway, but I that was a reason to pull him out because I thought he had hurt himself. Coach, how close do you feel you guys are to being able to win a couple of games in the Big Ten tournament and get the, get the NCAA tournament? Only time will tell. Got to still take it one game at a time and just see how, how it goes for us. Um, Mike, um, how often or do you practice a lot with, with like three or four seconds to go in a game when, when like but what happened with him, the Purdue missing the two free throws with, with Xavier taking the ball down and trying to get a shot off? Sure we do. Sure we do. I mean, we, we practice on the full court, we practice on the side. I mean, the one shot that we had six, seven seconds on the side, how did that look out? Look for it again. I mean, Parker was wide open. He just missed the wide open three. It's not a whole lot you can do with five, six seconds. You know, you just got to get it up the floor. Somebody breaks loose, you give them the ball, and you shoot it. The X was trying to draw a foul at that particular time, and it came up empty. Justin and Tom. Uh, to go back to the defense, what do you guys think did particularly well against Ivy? Was two of eleven didn't get any of those inside the arc. What do you think Parker in particular did pretty well in that time? Well, you know, when you think about the two games that's been played between Indiana and Purdue, those are the type of games you're going to get. You know, nobody wants to give, and Ivy had his way. I thought in our place, you know, especially the second half, he was huge. And then tonight, you know, I thought we did an excellent job. Parker was great guarding him tonight. Mike, you got a big second half from Trace tonight. Some very active, uh, a lot of the screen rolls, like you mentioned, were working well. Uh, was it any sort of different wrinkles at all, or just better execution tonight in regards to that? Oh, we just opened the floor up a little bit. X had it going, and, you know, the way they they play defense and tag from the backside of your pick and rolls, it kind of opens up things. And that's no knock against them. They'll have a defensive team. 
but I saw some holes in it and I, I tried to exploit it a little bit and we were successful, you know, X was getting downhill, he was pulling up with his shot and he was getting passes over the top behind their defense and he, he was getting a throwback where we were actually getting, getting shots. A lot of times, you know, teams play us where we can't play open because they just sit. And tonight it was a little more freely. Okay, Coach, thank you. All right. Thank you, Coach. We'll have a couple players just out.